What's up guys, Michael Fight here, and today we're talking about Bungie Day. That's right, we're recapping Bungie Day. Bungie is kind of a community appreciation day uh, that goes both ways. It's us appreci appreciating Bungie, and it's Bungie appreciating us. And the big thing, this was chosen by the community forums years ago, and it was meant to be on the seventh day of the seventh month. And it's basically just a way to kind of celebrate all of the great things Bungie has uh, done and accomplished, like games and the things that they do for us as a community. So as an example, uh, one of the great things that they've done for Destiny players is the Moments of Triumph. Now this is a really cool task that basically allows Destiny players to uh, accomplish a bunch of series of, of monumental tasks that have happened throughout the year one Destiny game to get a special emblem. Looks kind of like this. Right there, that fella. Now this emblem's really cool because what it does is it basically signifies that you've gone through hell and you've fought your way and you've proven yourself since day one or close to day one to do all of these tasks. Now we're going to talk a little bit about the task coming up just to recap a little bit of what it is you have to do in order to get this emblem. So let's go over a couple of those new moments of truth. So the very first one is the normal one, the big one get a character to the maximum level. So that would be a uh, maximum level is 20 and then the light level of 34. So 20 is what's gonna do it, but 34 is your best bet. Next up is Light of the Garden. Defeated the Dark Heart of the Black Garden. Basically it means beat the base storyline. Get through all the storylines in the base game of Destiny and go to the Black Garden and kill those three stupid giant minotaurs. Next up is Light in the Dark. Prevented the summoning of Crota's soul. So this is a really good one that you definitely want to do. This is uh, for that summoning mission from Eris Morn. So you definitely need the DLC for that one. Then Light of the Reef. Captured Skolas in the Vex Citadel. So this is again completing the storyline for uh, the House of Wolves. So you definitely want the storyline and uh, the DLC for that as well. Bane of Skolas. Defeated Prison of Elders on hard difficulty. So same thing. You're going to want to get through Prison of Elders and beat 35. Bane of Atheon. Defeated Atheon on hard difficulty. So running that Vault of Glass in hard mode and making sure you beat Atheon is a big one. And same thing, Bane of Crota. Go ahead and run through Crota's End and beat Crota. Last up, we have Public Servant. Completed 50 public events. So those are those any things that happen where they, your ghost is like, oh crap, things are going down. You want to finish that up. And for you PvP guys, Crucible Gladiator won 100 Crucible matches. So if you've been playing Crucible just on a regular basis, the daily missions, some control here or there, this one's probably already done for you. Super easy to get through. And the very last one, probably the one that most people are having the trouble with, is Chest Hunter. This is where you found all golden chests. Now, there is uh, a total of 20 golden chests, five in each planet. So you wanna go ahead and dig through all those. There's tons of guides out there that'll show you where they all are, maps and everything that's super interactive. Now, once you've completed all these items, you'll receive the moment of triumph and then the banner will be available for you or the emblem will be available for you uh, sometime after September 9th. Pretty cool things, guys, definitely. I myself am super excited. I only have a couple of gold chests to find, and then I'll be able to grab that emblem when it comes out, which will be closer to the launch of the Taken King. You have until September 9th to uh, finish all these tasks, and then after that, they'll be rolling out and probably end up in your uh, Postmaster or probably over with your special deliveries with uh, Tess Everest. Uh, so it should be really cool. Guys, I look forward to seeing yours, uh, your emblems all over the place in the world and when the Taken King comes out on September 15th. So super excited, guys. Look forward to seeing you then. Don't forget to catch me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash michaelfight, and I'll see you guys again.